And so, in 1851, John Foucault set up a 200-foot wire, just like I did here, and proved the Earth revolved. Speed it up, Gerald. Any moment now, a domino will be knocked over. Cool. When's it going to knock over another one? In exactly one hour. Aww. Three seconds, Gerald. Yeah, okay. He was born for five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Bluey. Whoa. Could I have some atmospheric lighting around here? One night in July '97, regular kids from this town decided to take a shortcut through Potato City. So they hopped the fence. They may have heard the rumors, but they were all too smart to believe in the Phantom of Potato City. Everyone knows about the Phantom. He wears a long black cape, a salami stick for a leg, waiting to pound on the victims before it's too late. There is not a drawing of what he looks like. None of them were seen ever again. That's my history report. Okay, in the first place, who's ever heard of an all-night swim meet? And if he was so hungry, why couldn't he just have eaten his slimy leg? The whole thing is just a myth and an urban legend. How small-minded can you be to ruin someone's well-researched and fascinating story? Everyone knows the Phantom's just a myth. Oh, please. You're just scared of the Phantom as everyone else. Has gone to Potato City after midnight has been seen ever again. Gerald's right. That's clearly fake. So, Pepper, I triple dog dare you to go to Potato City after midnight. Don't do it, Pepper. If you do it, I'll be picked to last in volleyball. Fine, I'll do it tonight. And I'll be in class tomorrow. How will we know you're really there? Because I'll take Gerald, Susie, and George as witnesses. Wait, what? Would you like some more milk to help you get to sleep? <sighs> no thanks, Mom. I find it more soothing to read a book. Do you think this will work? Sure it will. You ready? Yes, we're ready. Glad you could make it, Gerald. How do you sneak out? Oh, I just told my grandma that I had to go to an abandoned theme park to get eaten by maniacs. She told me to go out in underwear. Anyways, let's go. Oh, Mr. Phantom! Yoo-hoo! Tasty children, right here! Just don't, Peppa. What's that? 
my autograph book. The Phantom's going right here next to my dad and Santa Claus. Hey, wait a minute. Strangest thing, when I touched Peppa in bed, her head exploded. So she's thinking too much? Ugh. I always told her to stop playing Roblox after bedtime. Oh, no, 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 honey. I mean, her head literally exploded. Midnight. Ha! We did it! We took a hypothesis, constructed a scientific protocol, and conclusively proved it false. You know what I smell, Gerald? Victorious ashes rising above the superstition? No. Slummy. <coughs> Ugh, I can't believe the Phantom was real. Run for your lives. <coughs> That'll teach that little Dickens to use her pillow to sneak out after bedtime. Let's go, Richard. Hey, have you heard Ray William Johnson's new song? It's a total hit. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you.